Day. Do you see all the hearts? They stand for love! Now I'm going to make the clubhouse sparkly clean. This is going to be a lot of work. There sure is a lot of dust. Grab your pretend duster and pretend to dust with me! Phew! We sure cleaned a lot of dust. Now it's time to sweep the floor. Grab your pretend broom. Here we go! We cleaned off so much dirt from the floor. Now I want to make this table sparkly, shiny, clean with this sponge. Ready, get set, go! I've been working so hard and I'm so tired. But there's still so much I want to do to get ready for the party. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Cleaning the clubhouse, are you? Hi, Ollie. We're having a hearts party, and I've been working so hard to get the clubhouse ready for my friends. Scrubbing and dusting is good. It's true. But there's something better that you can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Oh, 
Hola, friends! It's good to see you. I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm finishing painting these hearts for my niece. She loves to create patterns, so I am making her this set of purple and red hearts. Let's see. Red, purple, red. Now, what comes next? Yes, purple! <laughs> You're good at patterns, too. You know, these hearts remind me of our Bible story. It's about someone who loves us very much. Woo! <laughs> Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. Jesus and his friends, the disciples, walked to different towns because Jesus loved people and wanted to teach them about God and how to love one another. One day, Jesus visited a town where two sisters lived. Their names were Mary and Martha. Martha was so excited to see Jesus that she invited him to come to her house. Mary and Martha both loved Jesus, and Jesus loved them. As soon as Jesus got to Mary and Martha's house, Mary sat right down at his feet. Mary knew that Jesus would say important things, so she wanted to hear everything Jesus had to say. Mary wanted to spend as much time as she could with Jesus. But Martha didn't sit down with Jesus. Martha got very, very busy. She was here, and she was there. She was cooking and cleaning. You see, Martha was trying to make everything perfect for Jesus' visit. So while Mary sat at Jesus' feet and spent time with him, Martha was busy, busy, busy doing things around the house. Finally, Martha went to Jesus and said, oh, Make my sister help me. I'm doing all the work. But Jesus told Martha that spending time with him is the best thing to do. She didn't need to be worried about the cooking and cleaning. Jesus wanted to spend time with her. <laughs> wow! Jesus didn't need everything to be perfect in Mary and Martha's house. Jesus wanted to spend time with them. <laughs> Jesus loves you and wants to spend time with you and you and you and you and you and you and you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves you and wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus wanted to spend time with Mary and Martha. And Jesus wants to spend time with us, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus loves us so much that he wants to spend time with us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. At the hearts party, we will celebrate that Jesus loves me and Jesus loves you so much too. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ 
Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18.